Hi everyone, I'm Chanel from Stamping Stilettos and I'm here this morning with a super fast, quick and easy, quick and easy project and it's this gorgeous bookmark and this is a way to use up some of your scrap pieces that doesn't take much um, you know, much cardstock and, and that to, to make these. So I'm going to tell you how to make it and this has been pinned um, from Pinterest and it was Kylie Batucci. Um, she had an article um, on there with this gorgeous bookmark. So I'm going to show you how to make it. Now you will need, like I said, very, very small pieces of card. This is just a small piece of Blushing Bride and then a small piece of Bermuda Bay, a doily, and this is our craft card and this is cut at two by six. So two by six inches. We are using the Papillion, pap, pap, sorry, Papillon Potpourri and the Butterfly Basics. Um, they are the stamp sets that we're using. We'll be using both of our Butterfly Punches and the Tag Topper Punch. So while I have the Tag Topper Punch, let's go ahead and do the top of that now. And then... Let's go ahead and stamp our oops, what are we doing? Our butterflies. I'm using uh, sorry, island indigo for the small butterfly, and this is from the Papillon Papori. Can never say that. So that's that one, and then using our flirty flamingo I'm going to be doing the bigger butterfly and you could really make these so fast you know you really could um, oh, she says knocking everything out of the way um, these it's such a quick fast project this one so that's that and then we need to bring in some scrap paper and we're going to do our doily if you can see that oh, those were some measurements for something so I'm just going to bring that in and I'm using old olive and the large leaf and we're going to do the stamp on and stamp off technique just like that it's, it really is that simple and then, last but not least, taking your basic black and your tag, we have the the stamp. There is nothing in the caterpillar that tells you it is going to be a butterfly. Love it. So this is our basic black. And we're just going to stamp that near to the bottom just like that just like that something like Tommy Cooper then right okay and then what I did was I just got the doily and folded it over now you know you could have that much on it you could have a bit less like that in fact shall we do it like that yeah let's move it over so it really is up to you so what I actually did was I just did that and then I took my scissors, but you could use your, um, you could use your, your cutting tool. My brain went dead. Then what we what we call it? Right. Okay. So, just going to put that on there. I'm going to glue that down. So we're just going to glue that down like that and move it into place on the edge and let that just dry for a minute. And then taking our punches, we're going to punch out the butterflies. 
Now, I'm not putting these on dimensionals because obviously if someone's using them as a bookmark, you don't really want them to catch. That's it. So, um, but I didn't glue the whole butterfly down. I did sort of put a little bit of a, um, a lift on them. So I'm just going to pop that there. Hold that in place. So yeah, I didn't cover the whole butterfly because I did still want, you know, the wings to have a little bit of a lift, but I just didn't want them on dimensionals. So that is basically, that's your bookmark. And all that's left then is to make, um, you know, a tassel. If you want to make a tassel, or you could put ribbon on it. Now, what I did with this one, I've used our Bermuda Bay um, this is our thick baker's twine and I made a sort of a tassely, um, tassely, a tassely, uh, a tassel to it, a tassely, a tassel to it, um, and now I have a rubbish truck or something to pass. Now, with the baker's twine, I took, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven inches, and then I folded it in half, cut it, and then cut it again. I'm so sorry if you can't hear me. Then you fold it in half again, and feeding it from the front to the back, I'm just going to feed that through. You have a loop there, and then you grab all your ends like that and pull them through. That's it. Now, the bit that actually takes the longest on um, this project is actually um, splitting the because you know to make it more um, of a tassel, I split the threads. You please excuse the state of my nails, by the way. I do apologise. I'm having them done later, but I wanted to get a couple of videos done today. So I am so sorry. They do look shocking. Look, they're all... They've, it's all come off. Right, OK, so you want to go really right down to the bottom with doing that. So I'm not going to do the whole one now, but you get the idea. And then it will end up looking like that. Now that one I've done a bit longer. I think it looks a bit better longer. Um, so there you have it. Very super quick and easy project using your scraps. And what a lovely gift to give someone. Um, you could even put it on the front of a card. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And see you soon. Bye bye.